Hey everybody, it's Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and this is the second installment of our Custom Romantics feature. In uh, this one, we are looking at the AOKP ROM for the Galaxy Nexus, also known as Android Open Kang Project. This is a very popular ROM that has uh, blown up in recent months. It's now available for 20 devices, starting with the Galaxy Nexus, and uh, it looks a lot like stock Android. You have your um, it actually uses the Nova Launcher, which is very similar to that of the um, regular ice cream sandwich launcher, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. So let's start from the lock screen. You can see, first of all, you can actually scroll down uh, the notification bar from the lock screen. You have the option of adding weather to the lock screen, as well as this floating bar here, uh, which you can activate uh, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, uh, and you can add tons of features to that. Everything else is pretty much the same. You also have the ability to add shortcuts to the home screen so you can get into your phone, your SMS, and your camera very quickly. You, you can add up to eight shortcuts. Um, I have four active right now. Uh, other features are um, pretty self-explanatory but very comprehensive. Once you get into the settings, you can see that there's this ROM control button here and you have the ability to change many things in the UI including LCD density you can turn off that IME switcher that a lot of people find quite annoying you can change your carrier label you can actually change the color of everything in your net in your notification bar you can change uh, whether or not the three dots show up in the bottom right here uh, for apps that don't support the ice cream sandwich menu which usually is located on the top right. You can change it to um, default or show always, whatever you like. You can actually change around the location of your various home screen buttons and you can also add new buttons so I can add a dedicated search button if I want to the bottom to the bottom four or take them away or just add a permanent menu button as well if you want that so lots of different things you can do with this. You can change the height. Uh, as I said, you can enable weather. And weather is either here in the notification bar or you can see it in on the home screen as well. You can edit that to show exactly what you want, refresh interval, things like that. The other nice feature, you can add a, a torch so I can hold down on the power button and I can activate the torch feature right from there which is really nice if you're looking for your contact lens in the dark or something strange like that I often find myself needing to use it when I am uh, going around in, uh, on, in my computer, my desktop computer and uh, need to look at something behind the uh, computer desktop um, I often use my phone for that. Other things a little bit more towards the power user, you have the ability to turn off data when the screen is off. That functions a lot like the Juice Defender app that is very popular in the App Store. This is free on here. You can also change the LED options for your Galaxy Nexus to pulse certain colors. Uh, you can pulse, turn it off when the screen is on, turn it on when the screen is on, things like that. Uh, you can also change a lot of the things in the status bar. So. Lots of customization, including transparency, uh, brightness control. You can auto hide certain toggles if you want, or you can just set the default behavior. Uh, lots of things to play with. You can choose what kind of clock you want, whether you're AM, PM, uh, military style, or regular. You can change the battery to be a circular battery style. So I can I can change it to the circle mod, and you can see right there it's now a a circular uh, graphic. You can change uh, the different colors and thickness. It really is uh, quite extensive. And the rest of it in involves uh, performance management. So you can change overclock your, your CPU with the kernel that's installed here. You can change your governor. You can change the voltage. You can actually set it to free certain amounts of memory. So I want, I want there to try and be 100 megs of free memory at least. Uh, Android doesn't really need to have a lot of free memory, but it's nice to have it in case. Uh, you can also set fast charge for the Galaxy Nexus if your kernel supports it. I'm using the Franco kernel and it does support it. That allows the Galaxy Nexus to charge at super fast speeds. 
and you can change certain things like ga gamma and uh, color as well. Uh, lots of other stuff including the ability to change certain things in the default keyboard. So if I go in here, there's an AOKP setting to use the volume cursor to move, sorry, the volume buttons to move your cursor left and right when you're uh, typing, which is nice and convenient. Everything else is mostly behind the scenes. It's uh, a huge improvement to the performance as well of uh, regular Android, and it's running Android 4.0.4, .4, which is the latest version. So this has just been merged with all the open open source, uh, open sorry Android open source project version 4.0.4, .4, and uh, you can see that there's a lot of really excellent additions here. This is build number 29. Build 30 should be coming up quite quickly. So lots of good things to uh, look for in Android Open Kang project. Check if your device is supported. Uh, lots of devices have been supported including the HCC Sensation, the um, LG Optimus 2X, the Transformer Prime, the original Transformer, the Galaxy Tab 10.1. Lots of devices are being added and uh, this is growing to the extent that uh, Cyanogen Mod is uh, it's kind of gaining on Cyanogen Mod 9 in terms of users and uh, there's lots of development happening here so check it out forum.aokp.co I'll include all those links in the original post like this post like this video if uh, you appreciate this uh, overview of the Android Open Kang project <laughs>